So I'm not a programmer at all, but I've been using ChatGPT to write Python scripts for me. And you can look up how to install Python and then run the scripts. Uh, I sort of learned this over a period of time looking at uh, different sort of tutorials. But I come from the old school where we used to work with DOS and I used to work with DOS prompt. So I kind of know a little bit about, you know, the DOS prompt and that. And I know there's a bat file, which is a dot uh, bat, which runs and is executed. So what I did was I wanted to write a batch file. And let me show you what I asked for. Um, so I asked the program to create a windows.bat file, which is a batch file, which you can search for going percentage temp percentage, filling it in the search command you can just go percentage temp percentage and it will open up the folder where all the temporary files are so i wanted to get to a point that i could do this automatically because you can click it like this select all these files press delete and then it will delete and those files that can't delete it will say you're not allowed to delete it because those files are still being used by the system uh, so i wanted to create a a script, a batch file that would be able to do that, but it would go to the percentage temp percentage folder, which is like a, a a general command that it it doesn't matter on which system it is, it will go to the temp folder, and it must go in there, and the files that it encounters must delete, and if there's files that can't be deleted, and bypass those, inform the user that the process is done. Uh, and to press enter to exit the bat file and then it says certainly here's a windows.bat file and it wrote this here so what we do is it also gives instructions of where to put it but pretty much you take a text document so you'd go in in my case i just do notepad and we'll take this copy it paste it but if you try and save it here now are you going to save it as um, let me call it um, clean temp dot bat okay so if i try to save this for example on the c drive it's going to warn me it's going to tell me sorry i can't save it over here um, because i don't have permission to save it here so it will take me to the users and in this case this is my user folder that that's the name of it and put it here so i'll save it here and then i can go back there and copy that across into my c root folder or i could leave it here and then i just create a temporary link to it so for example let me just do this put it here and i'll show you how i create the link also so i'm going to just call it one dot so that it will appear right on top here when I save it. So I'm saving that here and I say save. Okay, and where I go and find it would be, uh, let's go here, we'll go to C drive, be C drive users, and there it is, Rory. And if I go look, I have labeled it as, well, there's it, one cleanup.bat. So if I run this now, um, it's going to tell me files are deleted, press enter to exit. There we are, that's done. So if I want to create a shortcut onto my desktop, I just right click onto the file and then I say send to and create a desktop shortcut, which I done already. So mine, I just took from here, copied it from here onto my root C drive because that's where I wanted it. I just did this to show it to you. I'm going to delete this. And then I'll show you on my... Yeah, I created the file. Now you see this icon here. All I did here was right-click on the default icon that came up there and you say properties. And you can see mine is leading to that C drive. Then I go to change icon. And this is the default Windows icons and you can choose whichever one you want to make. Maybe a exclamation mark so forth or oh, the other thing that i do is i go to advance and i say hey, check this box run as administrator in case needs administrative rights to clean out the stuff and there we go so when i'm here and i want to just clean out the files um, 
I can click over here or I could have put in the script that when it's done all it does is just close it but I just want to have acknowledgement that the process has been done so I can instruct it to give me other sort of notifications but I'll double click on this comes up says press enter here we go clean up there the key behind this is I wanted to show you how cool it is to use ChatGPT to help you with a little programming script and I am far <laughs> from a programmer um, so it writes the script for me and of course I've got quite a few other Python ones that really help me with especially with Excel spreadsheets that's got a lot of mixed data in it I go through it but I write it segment at a time with a script going to clean it up so when it comes now to processing all those Excel files every month that I get for a client it just goes in clears them up and I kind of just logically work through the request and we build it up like that so maybe you can find yourself uh, getting into some kind of programming I stick to uh, Python uh, this is not of course Python this is just a batch file but I stick to Python because it's a really uh, sort of um, a useful language because it's used most almost in me so many places it's also used with AI and those sort of things okay so hopefully you get merrily on your way creating your new scripts and making your life so much easier have a fantastic day be blessed and shalom to you